Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, Blackmagic here, and thank you guys very much for checking out today's video. Now, I just wanted to remind everyone that this is class week number one, where I'll be uploading a video on a specific class from Battlefield 4. Class week number one started on Monday with the FAMAS loadout, and will end this Friday, and in week two I'll be doing a different video every other day on classes from Black Ops 2. And just as a quick reminder, this is week one, and week two will start Monday, February 10th, and will last until Friday, February 14th. So with that said, let's get into today's loadout. Now today we're going to be talking about the MTAR-21 and the best loadout I've found for it so far. But before I get into the loadout itself, there's a few things worth mentioning. This gun is only available by purchasing the China Rising map pack, and if you haven't done so already, why haven't you? It's an awesome map pack, go get it. And then completing a very specific list of things to accomplish within a round. Now in order to unlock the MTAR, you must first get a kill with a grenade, a kill with an assault rifle, a kill with an LMG, and finally, a kill with a sniper rifle. Now that you know how to unlock the MTAR, let's get into the loadout. The MTAR has a damage output of 25, a maximum clip size of 31. The rate of fire on the MTAR is 900 rounds per minute, which is the highest of all carbines, by the way, and a reload time of 3 to 3.3 seconds. The gun works best in close quarters combat, and even though I wouldn't recommend it, it can still be somewhat effective at longer ranges. Now the loadout I'm going to be going over today gives you the option for those long distance situations as well as being a great hip fire weapon. Now the first attachment is a staple of all of my classes and that's the hollow red dot sight and the reason I like to use this over all the others is mostly because of looks. If you would rather have just a normal red dot without the circle around it then feel free to switch it out. As I said it's just my own personal preference. The second is the magnifier which adds a two time zoom to any red dot to allow you to aim down longer distances of sight. As with the FAMAS loadout, I would suggest switching your gun over to automatic for enemies that you may not be too sure you can hit, or burst fire for those that you know you can hit. The third attachment is the flash hider to eliminate muzzle flash without the bullet speed penalties of a silencer. This is actually one of the only guns I use the flash hider on, but it's worked out pretty good so far that I may have to try it on another weapon in the near future. Finally, the last attachment is the angled grip to improve the stability of the gun by reducing the first shot recoil by 33%, which with the high rate of fire of the MTAR, every little bit of stability helps. Now speaking of recoil, I went into the test range to show you guys the difference in controlling your recoil and not controlling it, and with the high rate of fire, you can see that if you do not control the MTAR, the gun itself will actually raise pretty quickly. So I found that the best way to use this class is to stick to close quarter situations as much as you can, and always switch to your sidearm as opposed to reloading behind cover. I cannot count the number of times that I've been killed while trying to reload this thing, but I learned from my mistakes quickly and now I'm just trying to spread the good word to everyone else. Also, this is not a sniper rifle and should not be used as such. The magnifier can be used to scout out areas before moving into them or pick off a person or two lurking around that area. While there are some cons to this gun, it is still one of the best carbines in the game and if used properly could turn out to be one of your new favorite weapons. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for today's loadout video. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you've liked the video, please be sure to leave it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about this loadout in the comment section down below. If you guys have not already done so, please do take a second and click that subscribe button. That way you guys are kept up to date on all my latest videos. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.